Hi, welcome back. This is uh, Patrick from IT Babble. Today I'm going to show you how to take a Word document from Microsoft Word 2011 on the Mac and turn it into a reusable template which is with some neat features. So here I got a little checklist. Uh, first thing I got to do is I have to go up to Word at the top, click on that, and scroll down to Preferences. There's a shortcut key, the command comma, and then I'm going to click on Ribbon which is in the bottom right there. Now once I'm here, I need to scroll down and what I'm looking for is I want to add a tab to my ribbon, which is the, the toolbar, and I want to add the developer tab. So I'm going to click that and click OK. Great. Now you'll notice that there's a tab up there called developer. So go ahead and click that and you're going to see some interesting options here. Um, now most of this we're not going to be using. We're just going to be using the text box up text box option and the combo box option. So for student name, I'm going to double click that and I'm going to click text box. And what's going to do is going to replace my line with a gray box. There you go. You can see it a little bit better. Um, and what that means is eventually we'll protect this document and these fields are the only fields we'll be able to change. Now, obviously, I don't want the gray line there. It doesn't look very good. So if you double click the gray line, you can actually put the default text of what you want it to, to say. So like student name or whatever. Uh, yeah, you can change the maximum length of, you know, and different text format. But I usually leave all of that alone and I just go to the default text and I put in, you know, what that what should go there. So student name. And I click OK. And the gray box will still be a gray box, but it will have student name in it, letting me know that that's what goes there. And now for where it says requirement A, and it has the space, and then out of five points, I'm going to double click that, and now I'm going to click on combo box. Now combo box gives us a, will let us make a drop down menu. So here, I'm going to show you this one, just double click it, and here it says drop down item. So I'm going to type in five, four, three, two, one, zero, because those are the possible points um, and click OK. And now I'm going to speed this up here so you can you can see it a, a, a little faster. Okay, now we're done with, uh, we have all our forms in here. Um, and now they won't be active until we protect the document. So what you're going to do is at the top, you're going to see protect form. And we're going to click that. Boom. <laughs> Once we do that, those drop down menus will be active. Um, and we won't be able to edit anything else like the title or what requirement A is. We can't edit that. We'll have to unprotect the form in order to do that. So when I click here, I only have access to my fields I've created. A thing about the fields is there is no spell check. So just keep that in mind. So what I want to do now is I'm going to save it, but I'm not going to save it as a document. I want to save it as a template. So go to File, Save As, and where it says Format, it's going to say Word Document. I want to change that to Word Template. It's a .dotx, and that'll be the same on PC as well. Oop. Got a little strangeness there, but that's all right. You click that and it's going to save it in a special place. So in that special place, I mean, you can always go and find it if you need to edit it again, but it's just there to help protect the template. So it doesn't accidentally get deleted or moved. So Word knows where it is. You click save. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close this. And now I'm going to open up my template. So I'm going to go to file new from template right there. And uh, make sure you're on My Templates and just scroll through and find it. Those are just ones that you've created. And then I'm going to click Choose. And there it is. And I'm going to go ahead and fill it in here. And then when I'm done, you just save it. And it makes you save it as a different name. And you can save it wherever you want. 
And uh, that's it. Pretty easy, right? If you got any questions, let me know. And I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>